Hey everyone, Anthony Gerby here with my Thursday thoughts from Stein Financial Group. And just a reminder, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel. Uh, it really does help us out. But this week, we are continuing our series, the ABCs of Finance, and we are on the letter V. V is for value this week. By the way, the, the cartoon here talks about the value of gold and that it could go to the sky. Uh, I don't necessarily endorse that view. I'm kind of surprised to find it in this book. But again, it's for kids. It's just teaching them what the words mean. Um, I'm not going to talk about gold when it comes to value. I'm going to talk about really the value of any investment. And specifically, what a lot of people I think understand intellectually, but it just feels a lot different emotionally when you're going through it, is when you see the value of something, whether it's something you already own or something you're going to own investment-wise, drop. What do you do or how do you feel about that? Well, of course, it doesn't feel good if it's something you own already, right? But the point I make to a lot of people, especially but not only if you're still working, is in the long run, a drop in the value of the stock market, let's say, let's use that as the example, may end up working in your favor in the long term. Because if you are saving money and the market goes down, again, I'll pick on the market as my example, you are still saving while the value has dropped. What does that mean? You're getting, if the market went down 10%, a 10% off coupon right off the top. And if and when the market comes back, which is never a guarantee, but there has never been a market high that has not then been eclipsed by a new market high, which is just a fancy way of saying the market goes up seven out of every 10 years historically. Um, as that recovery happens, your 10% off coupon where you bought it at a 10% lower price can add to your growth. You're, you're starting at a lower number, so your growth compounds more. Uh, it, it doesn't make the stock market, it doesn't make your investment grow more. It, do, it doesn't grow at a higher percentage. It's just you bought it for a discount. You bought the same stock for a discount. And I think what a lot of people think about when the market goes down is, oh no, everything's less valuable. And yes, at the time that might be true, but we need to think about the long run. Is the real way to say that the market is temporarily less valuable? And if that's what we believe, and in often cases that is what I would believe, then it might make sense to buy as the value decreases, right? Because you're getting things at a lower price than what their real value is. So there's no perfect answer to what you should do when something loses value. It depends on the situation. It depends on the asset. Da, 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 you understand. But it is important to understand, is it a temporary drop that I could maybe use to my advantage? Or is it something more serious going on. And that's where we come in to help you kind of diagnose that as time goes on. But just a little something to think about value-wise.